Hello and welcome to another CTrader tutorial. Um, today I'm going to discuss an indicator we've published, a free one. It's a uh, synchronized uh, crosshair. And I'm just going to quickly explain what that means by crosshair. There's one already built onto the CTrader platform. If you click here, the crosshair here, you can see now there's a crosshair showing the price of where the crosshair is so you can analyze the candlesticks and other things on the chart. Now the whole idea of the synchronized crosshair is that you can have the crosshair on each chart on different time frames for the same symbol. So you need to be using the same symbol for this to work. And you can see the price action or the candlestick patterns that are forming. For example, on this bullish candle here, there's a long bullish candle with a synchronized um, crosshair. You can actually see on a lower time frame the different types of candlesticks that are formed. So you can see pin bar and all the rest of it uh, engulfing bearish. Uh, pattern and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now is quickly show you this indicator. Now there are a few similar indicators out there already. So a lot of people are actually um, providing this, um, but we're actually putting a video together to actually show you how to use it in much more detail. So what I'm going to do is uh, put the indicator on the chart. Now for this indicator to work, you do have to install it on each individual chart that you want to use it on. You can't just install it on one. Um, we provide just a very basic version of this indicator. So I'm going to show you it. So if I type in um, the word cross. So to get this up, by the way, if you're not familiar with it, just tap, tap on the chart, tap on the space bar, and you can actually get a search window. And if you just start typing anything in, you can access it. So I want to access this one. Okay, now, because we've got a white background, I'm going to choose uh, black for the color. Okay, so if you've got a dark background, choose white or any color you want, you can choose the thickness of the line and the line style. And I'm going to go to uh, dots. Okay, okay, that. So now we have the crosshair on the chart there, and you can see the crosshair that's being used. Actually, I'm going to change this to line. So if you want to actually change the values, um, you need to actually go to Objects Manager, Indicators. Let me just get rid of that one. And on the indicator here that I've got, I click on the little settings icon, and you can actually change the um, line style. I'm going to go back to solid. Actually, this was one that was on there already. I'm going to change this to black and keep it at solid, okay? There you go. I close this window. Now we've got it on there already. Now, the mistake I just made there is I accidentally put two of the indicators on the chart and they were conflicting with each other. So if you do see a kind of um, repainting or some weird stuff going on, check that you've only got one on the chart. So now I've just got one crosshair indicator on the chart. Again, I can change this to any color I want or any thickness. Now I want to analyze this bullish candle here. So I'm hoping that I can actually get it on the other one. So what I need to do is go to the other chart, tap the space bar, type in cross, OK, put the indicator on the chart. I'm going to have to change this to black because I've got a white background. Make sure you spell the color correctly. Now I've got two. So if I now go to this bullish candle here and then go up, you can see there's also quite a bullish candle on the um, 30 minute time frame. So it's not massively different. So if I actually put it over the candle itself and go down, it's pretty much the same candle. OK, now I'm going to put it on the 15 minute chart. Again, I need to put the color. I'm going to put it on the five minute chart. OK, so now when I look at any kind of price action on one chart, I should see it on the others. And the reason you're not seeing it down at the bottom is because the time frame of the lower time frames is much smaller. So I can only go to the right here and look at this last candle. So the last candle, how it was built, you can actually see how it was built. So it's a bearish candle. I don't know if you can see this, but where the mouse is flashing, the last candle on the chart, on the one hour chart, which is top left, you can see a short bearish candle that's still being formed. Now, if you actually have a look down here on the five minute time frame, these red candles that you can see here going down, these are actually that single candle on the one hour time frame. So by using a synchronized um, crosshair, you can actually analyze exactly what was going on in the price action on a lower time frame while looking at a larger time frame. Now that would become quite useful. That's only for looking at uh, price action, but you can also use uh, synchronized crosshairs for many other things. It's not just that, okay? So that's the video tutorial. That's all I want to show you. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are interested um, in grabbing this indicator, which is free, just come to our website. You can either type in the search box at the top. So up here, you can just type in um, crosshairs. Well, I'll just put crosshair. And there it is, it's come up. And this is the indicator. You can download it. You have to click buy now and go through the process. 
and you have to register with our store as well. But you can go through the process of actually installing it. And at the bottom here, it says how to install on C Trader and how to open this indicator, but I've just showed you it there. But it will show you how to install. If you have any questions, just send us a message on there and you can chat to us on our Telegram group. Okay, that's it. Again, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps our uh, rankings on Google. Thank you very much.